How now, cow wow? There's nothing Kit likes better than a nice cold glass of milk. It looks like Tinta is really thirsty for milk, too. Luckily, Kit is more than happy to share. It appears the glass is a little too tall for Tinta. Tinta better hurry or there will be no milk left. It's almost all gone. Tinta didn't get any milk. And Kit didn't even know. <laughs> of course, Kit will pour another glass. <laughs> oh no, that was the last drop. Is there any way Kit can cheer up Tinta? An idea! <laughs> Look who's here! It's Glubus! I wonder what Kit needs some glue for. <laughs> I guess the moral of this story is, when you run out of milk, don't get sad. Get busy, using your imagination. The Wonder Balls made art, but that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. This project is not only fun, it's nutritious too. Drink some milk and then collect these items. Use a glue stick on the sides of the milk carton and then attach some white paper to cover it all around. Ask an adult to help you cut pieces of colored construction paper into an assortment of shapes and sizes and then glue them onto the sides of the carton. You can use straws, tubes, or other items to create the tail and the legs for your milk carton cow. Finally, it's time for the head. This one's just an example. You can make it any shape that you'd like. Have fun with your design. This will work with any type of beverage carton. So even if you don't drink milk, you can still have a cow. Wow! Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone. Let's get rolling. It's time for another wonder song. Let's make some noise and sing along. Shots. They won't back. all go in. You give it all you got. And one step back. That's how you win.
Soak up the fun. Rushy and Hugo are having fun with paint. That's their sponge friend, Absorba. When he's not wet, he's no fun. They want Absorba to paint too. Maybe he'd like blue paint. Or maybe Absorba just needs a push to get started. Oh well, they may as well have fun. Uh-oh. The rain's getting their drawings wet. What's that squishing sound? It's Absorba! Since he's a sponge, Absorba really loves water. The rain's done! Absorba's all dried up. Wow! Look at what Absorba made from Brushy's drawings! How did he do it? Hugo knows! <laughs> That's how Absorba soaked up the wet paint. Now they can all paint together. Absorba, Hugo, and Brushy are each making their own special shape with the paints. All it took was a little rain to help this pretty painting blossom and grow. The Wonder Balls made art, but that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. You can make an amazing painting without touching a brush. You'll need a sponge, some paints, and a bunch of cotton swabs. Take a few swabs, but don't dunk them all the way in. Just touch the tips to the paint and let the cotton absorb it. Use the swabs to dot your paper with paint. Try taking a few swabs and dipping them together to make lots of dots all at once. Use your sponge to dab on even more paint. You can use your finger to add some final touches. There are so many ways to paint. You don't have to stick to swabs and sponges or even fingers. Think of new things to try and then soak up the fun. Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone. Let's get rolling. Wonder Balls make music, too. Here's a song just for you. Wish upon a shooting star.
celebrate. Ba 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 ba. Flying colors. Amazing how birds can fly. Glubis wants to make a flying bird. Kit thinks he can. Oh, it looks like a bird. It didn't fly for very long. This bird needs help. String? And glue? I wonder what Kit's up to. It's flying again! It's looking tired. When Kit stops, the bird drops. A bag! And Puffbert! Ah, he's blowing at the bag and making it fly! Kit has an idea. Kit and Glubus are making something, but what? Wings for the bag! <laughs> Looks like they're almost finished! Wow! It's a kite that looks like a Glubus bird! Together, our friends created a piece of high-flying art. The Wonder Balls made art, but that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. With a paper lunch bag and a little creativity, you can make colorful art that really soars. To make a kite, you'll need some colored paper, a paper bag, scissors, and a glue stick. Start by cutting out a bunch of shapes. Ask a grown-up for help. You can use the pieces to make a face, a pattern, or just to decorate the bag. Next, put glue on the pieces of paper and stick them on the bag any way you like. Don't be afraid to use your imagination. few long strips of paper to the bottom of the bag. They'll help your kite fly right. Attach a string and you're ready to let your creation brighten the sky with flying colors. Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone. Let's get rolling. It's time for another wonder song. Let's make some noise and sing along. A good day becomes a great day When you're not on your own Fun times coming your way If you don't roll alone Just try sharing with another To fill your world with color
better with friends. Side by side to the end. A way of life I recommend. It's not so hard to comprehend. Everything's better with friends. Getting into shapes. Spencil and Creon are having fun drawing and coloring. There's Spencilina. She doesn't know how to draw a circle. Spencil's making straight lines. Hmm. Making straight lines isn't as easy as it looks. Maybe Kit can cheer her up. Or not. <laughs> Spencilina would love to draw like the others, but she just can't. <laughs> Kit has an idea. <laughs> That's called a stencil. <laughs> wow! With the stencil, Spencilina drew a perfect circle. There's another shape. But not finished yet. Let's see what they can make out of this shape. More stencils! This should be fun for everyone! Undersea scene. With stencils, everybody's shapes are picture perfect. The Wonder Balls made art, but that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. This ocean scene was made with stencils just like these. The different shapes help you draw all kinds of pictures. All you need are stencils and pencils. Start by using the straight edge to draw a boat. Then use as many different shapes and sizes as you like to fill in more details. Stencils are great for drawing all kinds of shapes, but it's up to you to decide what those shapes will be. It's fun to turn curves, lines, triangles, and circles into big fish, little fish, jellyfish, any fish. When all the lines are drawn, Dive back in and use your pencils to add splashes of color to your scene. With stencils and pencils, your drawings will be ship shape or any shape you want. Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone, let's get rolling. Wonder Balls make music too. Here's a song just for you. 
Wish upon a shooting star Moving pictures. <laughs> Happy birthday, Puffbert. Time to make a wish. <laughs> Who's this? It's Filmbert. He's Puffbert's cousin. <laughs> Filmbert's famous for taking beautiful photographs. <laughs> Filmbert wants to take a picture of Puffbert and his cake. <laughs> That's a great shot! <laughs> Kit, Brushy, and Glubus want a picture too! <laughs> Filmbert's going to take a picture of everyone together! Bye-bye, <laughs> Filmbert! At least Filmbert left his pictures behind. <laughs> The pictures seem like they're moving. <gasps> Looks like Kit has a plan. <laughs> a paper cup, some paper, glue. What are they making? took of Sparkle are moving, just like a movie. Teamwork put a whole new spin on pictures. The Wonder Balls made art, but that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. This is a zoetrope. It makes still pictures look like a movie. You can make one, and you don't even need a camera. Here are all the things you'll need to make your own mini movies. Start by drawing some funny faces near the bottoms and tops of five strips of sticky note paper, like this. Stick a strip inside your cup and have a grown-up cut narrow slits on both sides of the paper. Do it four more times, then snip off the slits. Next, put glue on the backs of the strips and stick them inside the cup. Make sure a bottom face always goes next to a top face. 
have a grown-up cut an X in the bottom, then stick in a straw to make a handle. Now you're ready to go for a spin. Twirl the straw with your hands and enjoy your moving pictures. Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone. Let's get rolling. It's time for another wonder song. Let's make some noise and sing along. When you have something that's on your mind It's time to make some art And if the right words are hard to find It's time to make some art Colors are a language understood by one and all Make an artistic choice to help you find your voice You don't need to speak cause pictures say it all Let everyone see how creative you can be When you have something that's on your mind It's easier than ABC It's time to make some art Everybody can and wait to see The right words are hard to find Your imagination sets you free It's time to make some art why not say it with art? Popcorn Tree Kit is fascinated with the flowers blooming on this tree. They certainly are beautiful. Puffbert and Tinta are sharing some popcorn while watching TV. Puffbert made the popcorn himself. <laughs> Kit's here with a surprise. <laughs> it's a petal from one of the flowers. Kit can't wait to show them the whole tree. Puffbert doesn't like when his show is interrupted. Everyone agrees it's a wonderful sight. Puffbert wants his friends to finish watching TV with him. He's huffing and puffing after all that heavy lifting. He blew all the flowers off the tree. Now everyone's all upset, and Puffbert feels terrible. Maybe some popcorn will make them not so sad? A petal landed on the popcorn. It's given Kit an idea. He painted a popcorn and glued it to the tree. This could really work. Starting to look beautiful again. of teamwork, imagination, and a whole bunch of popcorn has transformed the empty tree into a visual treat. The Wonder Balls made art, but that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. Popcorn kernels look like this before they're cooked. You can also just get a bag of ready-made popcorn and it will work just as well. Here are all the items you'll need to make your very own popcorn tree. Put 
some glue on one side of the twigs and then stick them down on a piece of paper to form the shape of a tree. Now, use the glue to stick pieces of popcorn onto the branches of your tree. Brush some paint onto the popcorn so that they look like flowers in blue. You can use whatever colors you like. It's totally up to you. While everything is drying, you can grab some popcorn to eat as you enjoy your newest masterpiece. Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone. Let's get rolling. It's time for another wonder song. Let's make some noise and sing along. When you have something that's on your mind, it's time to make some art. And if the right words are hard to find, it's time to make some art. Colors are a language understood by one and all. Make an artistic choice to help you find your voice. You don't need to speak because pictures say it all. Let everyone see how creative you can be. When you have something that's on your mind, it's easier than ABC. It's time to make some art. Everybody can do it. The right words are hard to find. Your imagination sets you free. It's time to make some art. Why not say it with art? Mix it up. Brushy's busy painting the playground equipment. Oh, but he's all out of paint. Here come the Hugo brothers. They can solve the problem one, two, three. Slide's done. What's next? Looks like the seesaw is. Blue and yellow for the middle parts. More paint. Blue, yellow, Red! Oh no! Brushy needs green paint, not yellow. Blue won't do. Maybe the Hugo brothers have an idea. Blue? He can't use blue. Yellow's not right either. Oh no! Hugo put blue paint in the yellow. It's green paint. Made by mixing the colors. Brushy wants them to make more colors. White and red. Mix them together and what do they make? Pink. Now the Hugo brothers are mixing up all new colors. Red and yellow make orange. What happens when you mix blue and red? Purple! Sometimes 
sometimes the way to make something new is to take what you have and mix things up. The Wonder Balls made art. But that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. You can paint with lots of different colors by mixing just a few basic ones called primary colors. You'll need water to clean your brushes and some paints. Start with yellow, red, and blue. Paint wherever you want those three colors first. When you're finished, use a clean brush to mix equal parts blue and yellow to make green. Take red and blue paint, mix them with a clean brush, and you've got purple. Mix yellow and red together and you'll have a bright pumpkin-y orange. Use your three new colors to paint the rest of your picture. But you don't have to stop there. Experiment with new combinations to create your own mixed up colors. Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone. Let's get rolling. It's time for another wonder song. Let's make some noise and sing along. When you have something that's on your mind It's time to make some art And if the right words are hard to find It's time to make some art <laughs> Colors are a language understood by one and all Make an artistic choice to help you find your voice You don't need to speak this picture say it all Let everyone see how creative you can be When you have something that's on your mind It's easier than ABC It's time to make some art Everybody can wait to see The right words are hard to find Your imagination sets you free It's time to make some art Why not say it with art? Crayon Creations <laughs> Crayon loves seeing what kind of shapes he can draw. <laughs> Meanwhile, Kit just finished giving Brushy a haircut. <laughs> Creon has always wanted to get a haircut, too. But the problem is, he doesn't really have any hair. But maybe Kit can still trim a little bit of crayon off Creon anyway. Wow! Creon looks fantastic! <laughs> Look at what a mess the crayon shavings have made. What can we do with these? <laughs> Robo Ball is here to help. <laughs> It's a stick. 
star-shaped mold. It's the kind of mold that's heat-resistant. Kit's being extra careful handling the hot mold. The crayon shavings melted into the shape of the mold. I wonder if it will work with other shapes. A circle. Another star. Into the oven they go, and... Ta-da! What a great idea to use crayons in a whole new way. Robo Balls thinking about all of the different shapes they can try. They molded a bunch of different colors into a rocket ship shape. Three, two, one, blast off! When it comes to imagining new crayon creations, the sky's the limit. The Wonder Balls made art. But that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. Gather up as many crayons that you can find. The more colors you use, the more colorful the shapes will be. Here's what you'll need. Make sure an adult helps you with the toaster oven. With a piece of plastic, shave pieces off of the different crayons. You can group the shavings into different color combinations. Sprinkle your color piles into shape molds on an oven-safe tray. Now, ask an adult to place the tray into a toaster oven. Remember, you're the artist. Let them handle the hot stuff. The heat melts the crayon shavings. And once it cools off, you have your very own crayon creations. Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone. Let's get rolling. It's time for another wonder song. Let's make some noise and sing along. When you have something that's on your mind, it's time to make some art. And if the right words are hard to find, it's time to make some art. Colors are a language understood by one and all. Make an artistic choice to help you find your voice. You don't need to speak, cause pictures say it all. Let everyone see how creative you can be. When you have something that's on your mind. It's easier than ABC. It's time to make some art. Everybody can wait to see. The right words are hard to find. Your imagination sets you free. It's time to make some art. Why not say it with art? Stamps. <laughs> Kit has spotted a bunch of different fruit. I guess apples are his favorite. Here comes Tinta. Looks like apples are her favorite fruit, too. <laughs> Kit's wondering what to do about this. <laughs> Kit's trying to cut the apple in half with his ruler, but it's not working. <sighs> Watch out, 
Brushy. <laughs> the apple spilled the can of green paint. <laughs> the paint got all over the apple. It can't be eaten now. <laughs> Brushy just made an exciting discovery. <laughs> The inside of the apple left behind an interesting pattern with the green paint. <laughs> if it worked once, will it work again? But maybe this time with a different color. <laughs> Kid is excited to see if this will work with other types of fruit, too. It does! Look at the pattern the orange made. Let's try it with all different fruit. The inside of each fruit has its own texture that makes a unique pattern when you use it as a stamp. <laughs> now you know, fruit is not only good to eat, it's great for painting too. The Wonder Balls made art, but that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. The secret is using tubes of paint. They make it easy to squirt out just a little bit of color at a time. Here are some items you can experiment with to try to make different things into stamps. Ask an adult to slice fruits and vegetables in half so you can reveal the textures and shapes on the inside. Then just rub the fruit into a blob of paint and start stamping. You can also try portioning out different colors and then use a paintbrush to apply paint to the fruit, vegetables, or any other item you want to experiment with as a stamp. The best part? There's no wrong way to do this. Just follow your instincts and pretty soon you'll have a stamp art masterpiece. Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone. Let's get rolling. Music is a special kind of art. A wonder song's about to start. Take that frown, turn it upside down. And just like that, it changes to a smile. And for a while, you forget. What you love upsets you some. Whoa. And take that pout, turn it inside out. And now those lips are ready for a kiss. And just like this, a sad face is erased, replaced with love. Oh, it's a whole new world. It's a whole new it's a whole new world When you spread a little sunshine Then the darkest nights become better tomorrows And the moon will follow Balloon Blast! <laughs> Kit and Hugo are having fun bouncing a balloon with their heads. Oh, look! It's Puffbert! <laughs> Puffbert loves balloons! <laughs> Puff 
Expert can't seem to get in the game. <laughs> Ouch! Is Puffbird okay? <gasps> Bursting that balloon made him tingle all over. <laughs> and he likes it. <laughs> Puffbert loves popping all the balloons. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Hugo filled the white balloon with blue paint! <laughs> Puffbird didn't expect that! The balloon burst made an interesting painting. This is a way they can all have fun. discovered a new way to play with balloons and create a colorful painting. What a blast! The Wonder Balls made art, but that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. Balloons come in all different shapes, sizes, and colors. But for this project, the balloons are going to create the colors. Here's what you'll need to make a balloon painting. Painting can get super sloppy, so ask a grown up to help you put paint into the balloons. You can use lots of colors, but you don't need too much paint. Next, use your pump to blow up the balloons, but don't pop them yet. Now, tie the balloons. This can be really tricky, so have a grown up help you. When you have all your paint balloons ready, Put them on a big sheet of paper or poster board. It's popping time! Have a grown-up help you pop the balloons. That way, you'll share the fun of making a balloon painting that's bursting with color. Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone! Let's get rolling! It's time for another wonder song. Let's make some noise and sing along. A good day becomes a great day When you're not on your own Fun times coming your way If you don't roll alone Just try sharing with another To fill your world with color Between you and me, and me and you, everything's better with friends. Side by side until the end, a way of life I recommend. It's not so hard to comprehend. Everything's better with friends. Everything's better, better with friends. Don't you forget, everything's better with friends. Rollers. Yeah. 
Brushy's winning a game of marbles. Which means that Kit is losing. It's his turn now. And here comes Puffbird and Tinta. Kit's really concentrating. Puffbird wants to play too, but he has no marble. An acorn? Can he play with that? <laughs> it's not colorful like a real marble. <laughs> Tinta feels sorry for Puffbert. If only they had a marble. <laughs> oh, looks like Puffbert found his marble, a pink one. <laughs> it's not a marble, it's that acorn. Tinta must have painted it. <laughs> and it left some paint behind. <laughs> wow! It's like a paint roller! <laughs> Maybe these can roll paint too! One little acorn, a mighty new way to paint and play grew. <laughs> the Wonder Balls made art, but that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. Marbles are small balls of glass used to play a bunch of different games. But there's an art to using them as paint rollers. Ask a grown-up to help you get the things you see here. Put a sheet of paper in the lid of a cardboard box. Roll a few marbles around in different colors of paint and put them on the paper. Hold the lid on the table and shake it so the marbles roll side to side and up and down. Try dipping a pine cone, small nuts, and dried fruits. And then shake, shake, shake. When you use marbles, pine cones, and other things with interesting shapes, you can roll out painting after painting. Experiment with different objects and colors, and you'll make wild works of art that are all shook up. Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone, let's get rolling. It's time for another wonder song. Let's make some noise and sing along. When you have something that's on your mind It's time to make some art And if the right words are hard to find It's time to make some art Colors are a language understood by one and all Make an artistic choice to help you find your voice You don't need Pictures say it all. Let everyone see how creative you can be. When you have something that's on your mind. It's easier than ABC. It's time to make some art. Everybody can wait to see. The right words are hard to find. Your imagination sets you free. It's time to make 
some art. Why not say it with art? And roll garden. Kit has a picnic planned for Tinta and Hugo. And he's brought some tasty treats. Uh oh, the breeze might blow the blanket away. Good idea, Kit. That rock should hold it down. Now it's blowing the other way. <laughs> Kit's afraid that the two rocks won't hold. Let's see if this does the trick. Just too strong. <laughs> they solved one problem but created another. Now there's too many rocks and no room for them. They have an idea. Wow! They painted the rocks and made a beautiful butterfly. Looks like Kit's ready to rock and roll. What can they make from these rocks? It's a flower! and a little imagination helped Kit, Tinta, and Hugo create a full-blown rock garden. The Wonder Balls made art, but that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. To make your own rock garden, find lots of different shaped rocks and pebbles. Just wash and dry them before you start. You'll need the things you see here. Pick five flat rocks and one round one to make a butterfly. Use twigs to make the butterfly's antenna. You can use rocks and pebbles to make all different kinds of flowers, too. Add little twigs for stems. Once they're arranged, paint the rocks one at a time. Use any colors you'd like, or leave the rocks unpainted. It's up to you. Here's the best part. Your rock garden will be in bloom all year long. Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone. Let's get rolling. 
It's time for another wonder song. Let's make some noise and sing along. A good day becomes a great day when you're not on your own. Fun times coming your way if you don't roll alone. Just try sharing with another to fill your world with color. Between you and me and me and you Everything's better with friends Side by side and <laughs> the end A way of life I recommend It's not so hard to comprehend Everything's better with friends Everything's better Better with friends Don't you forget it. Everything's better with friends Light as a marshmallow. The Wonder Balls are looking for their campground. But it's dark. Hugo's got a bright idea. He's using glow in the dark paint to light things up. <laughs> They're here. This is the campground. What's Kit making? <laughs> it's a picture of a campfire. They're pretending to toast marshmallows. Kit's having a little problem. Problem solved. Huffbert wants to try. <laughs> now it's Hugo's turn. Oh, he missed. One more try. It's stuck on the stick. <laughs> Hugo's paint made the marshmallow glow, just like the stars. <laughs> Those stars look like a dolphin. <laughs> A long time ago, people imagined pictures in groups of stars and called them constellations. <laughs> that looks like Ursa, the little bear. a bird called a phoenix. That's Castor and Pollux, Gemini twins. Our friends created marshmallow constellations that shine like the stars. The Wonder Balls made art. But that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. Marshmallows have the squishy, squashy, puffy stuff you need to make your own glowing constellations. You'll also need glow-in-the-dark paint, toothpicks, and sticks. Squeeze out some paint and dip your marshmallows. When the paint is dry, Connect the marshmallows with the picks and sticks to make constellations. Squeeze paint onto the sticks 
and draw around your constellations to create your creatures. Then turn off the lights and enjoy the glow of the wonder-filled night sky right before your eyes. Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone, let's get rolling. It's time for another wonder song. Let's make some noise and sing along. A good day becomes a great day when you're not on your own. Fun times coming your way if you don't roll alone. Just try sharing with another to fill your world with color. Like one plus one is always true. Here's another thing that's always true. Between you and me and me and you, everything's better with friends. Side by side until the end. A way of life I recommend. It's not so hard to comprehend. Everything's better with friends. Shadows. <laughs> Creon and Spencil are having fun drawing and coloring. Hmm, what's this? It looks like a drawing, but it's not very colorful. Maybe Spencil and Creon could brighten it up. It's starting to look like something. Huh? It's a bird! Ah, that wasn't a drawing. It was the bird's shadow. Creon and Spencil traced the shadow, colored it in, and their picture looks just like the bird. <laughs> Tracing Creon's shadow made the shape of Creon. They're calling their friends to show them what they made. They're telling their friends about the shadow picture. Kit, Brushy, and Puffbird really like it. Creon and Spencil want them all to make shadow pictures together. Brushy's shadow looks like a bird standing on a perch. Kit's shadow <laughs> looks just like a crab. That's a carrot and a bunny. There's a squirrel, and you know what that is. All those amazing animals from just a little light, a little shadow, and lots of imagination. The Wonder Balls made art. But that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. We're gonna use toy dinosaurs, but you can use whatever you have to make shadow drawings. Just get some crayons and colored pencils. 
place the figures so a light will make shadows on your paper. You can move the light to change the size and shape of the shadows. When you have the shadows the way you want them, use a pencil to trace the outlines. Now you can take the toys away and start coloring. You don't have to copy the colors of the toys. Color any way you want. With your pencils, Add eyes or other details to make the creatures look however you like. And just like that, you've made some shadows come to life. Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone. Let's get rolling. Music is a special kind of art. A wonder song's about to start. Take that frown. Turn it upside down, and just like that, it changes to a smile. And for a while, you'll forget what you want upset yourself. Whoa. And take that pound, turn it inside out, and now those lips are ready for a kiss. And just like this, a sad face is erased, replaced with love, oh, it's a whole new world, it's a whole new way to be, it's a whole new world, when you spread a little sunshine, then the darkest nights become better tomorrow. Twinkle, sprinkle. Sparkles all by himself with nothing to do. There's Globus, and he's gluing down colored paper. Sparkles excited to play with him. I wonder why Globus is sneezing. Oh, Sparkle's glitter is making Globus sneeze. Globus wants to stay away. Looks like Sparkle's all alone again. There's Puffbert, and he's got a balloon. <laughs> that looks like fun. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Puffbert's got the same problem as Glubus. Sparkle's glitter makes him sneeze too. <laughs> Sparkle's having fun, but he's the only one. <laughs> Wait, Lubis sees something. <laughs> and he likes what he sees. Sparkle's glitter stuck to his glue. Now they can make sparkly pictures together. They 
create a sparkly universe and found a wonderful way to help each other shine. The Wonder Balls made art, but that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. Glitter's a great way to sprinkle your art with Twinkle. Let's see what happens when you mix sparkly glitter, glue, and you. Here's what you'll need to make your own glittery pictures. Draw with glue on a piece of paper, just like you would with a pencil or crayon. You can draw lines, shapes, a picture, anything you want. Now sprinkle glitter wherever there's glue. You can use one color or lots of different colors. Use enough glitter to cover all the glue. Just make sure you don't get any glitter near your eyes. Then ask a grown-up to help you very gently blow on the paper. Like magic, a glittering scene will appear. And you made it! But you don't have to make just one picture. You can make letters, numbers, animals, anything. With glitter and glue, everything you make will have its own special sparkle. Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone! Let's get rolling! Music is a special kind of art. A wonder song's about to start. Take that frown, turn it upside down, and just like that it changes to a smile. And for a while, you'll forget what you let upset you so. Whoa. And take that pout, turn it inside out, and now those lips are ready for a kiss. And just like this, a sad face is erased, replaced with love. Oh, it's a whole new world. It's a whole new way to be. It's a whole new world. When you spread a little sunshine, then the darkest nights become better tomorrow. Castles. It's a hot day, and Brushy's having fun at the beach. He's trying to build a sand castle, but it's getting off to a pretty slow start. he didn't have too much built yet. Squirt Squirt and Kit are cooling off in the water. Probably not a good idea to get into a splashing contest with Squirt Squirt. Oops! Looks like Brushy's all wet. And the sand in his bucket is soaked too. Now Brushy has to start all over again. The wet sand is staying in the shape of the bucket. <laughs> this is giving Brushy an idea. He got some different shaped buckets. Now he's filling them with sand. <laughs> And Squirt Squirt does what he does best, make things wet. Water is the secret to building sand castles. Brushy has a plan, but he needs some help. Ah! 
Now that's a sand castle. When you combine sand, water, teamwork, and creativity, you can build something great. The Wonder Balls made art, but that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. You don't have to go all the way to the beach for this project. Just collect some sand from your neighborhood and these items. Go ahead. Feel how the dry sand slips through your fingers. But when you add water to it, suddenly the grains of sand bind together and stick to each other. Now you can load the wet sand into the different shaped molds and buckets. Be sure to fill them up all the way. When you release the wet sand, it retains the shape of the mold or bucket. These are the building blocks of your very own castle. Try using all sorts of different shapes. Lots of things will work. You can stick stuff into the sand to add whatever finishing touches you want. It's up to you. After all, this is your very own castle. Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone. Let's get rolling. Wonder Balls make music, too. Here's a song just for you. Wish upon a shooting star. Ba-ba-ba, ba-ba-ba.